morning, good morning, 727. And tell me if I'm wrong, right? But it's my second day using the planner. And to me, it feels um it feels busier. Like when I'm when I was on schedule, because yesterday I didn't record yesterday. But it was I had no downtime yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I had pretty much like no downtime. The only downtime I had was like uh, coming back from like pretty much a dead spot. I did deliver to an area yesterday where there's like no restaurants over there. And the only times I had down was like coming back from that spot because I went over there twice. But yeah, like yesterday they kept me busy. Like I turned the app on this morning. Oh yeah, so here's my little trick. So um, I had my shift from like 7 to 10 a.m. But I wasn't going to be able to leave my house because um, I ate a questionable assortment of foods last night. If you put two and two together, you'll figure out what I'm talking about. So let's just say I got stuck in the bathroom <laughs> this morning, right? So I wasn't able to make my shift. So what I did was I turned Uber on and I lowered the mileage to like 0.5. Wait, that's what I used to do with Grubhub too. I'll turn grub up on and put a lower the miles all the way down when I don't want to work and then raise it back up when um when it's time to work. But I got a double Starbucks to go pick up. Oh yeah, and also before I get there, a few things. The first thing is people have been noticing the fork is crooked. I'm gonna change that when I'm I'm gonna change I'm gonna straighten that when I get over to my bike shop because I ordered tires and rotors so when I, I sent them to my bike shop so when I go over there I'm just gonna do everything at once and like it's not actually crooked like in terms of like me handling the bike like don't worry I'm not going straight and it like slowly leans over <laughs> it, it's it's lined up it's just like um it's basically aesthetics so yeah no, don't worry I'm not about to like ride and like slowly tilt over like a turtle I have a drive through I wonder if they'll let me use it. All right, I got Paige and Joe. Thank you. Oh, this place. So I'm going to Mount Sinai. The same Mount Sinai that misdiagnosed me. Oh, you don't have asthma, they said. Whores. <laughs> All right, see, this one I'm talking about with GPS. I could have just went this way around, but it sent me to this side of the streets and I got to sit in the light. I wish I noticed that before. I mean, trip time though, Never mind. It's funny because Wilson was talking about that. He was like, Adrian don't even hustle no more. He, he's sitting in, in, he's sitting in traffic. He's not even lane split. I'm like, you're damn right. We get paid per minute now. So who cares about a red light? I'm chilling. See how this car is chilling? I'm chilling too. So this order is for Paige. That's Joe. I'm not gonna put this on like that. So yeah, they said to leave with security. Morning. Says to leave with security for Paige. Uh, 2706. Okay. Thank you. All right, my next customer is three minutes away. Guys, this customer name is Joe B. Am I delivering to Joe Biden? I'm pretty sure. It just, yeah, it just sent me down the road. <laughs> this shit just sent me down the one way, bro. I'm telling you, the wrong way up the one way. Uber map is trash. I turn the corner, I'm like, wait, why, why, why is, why is all the cars facing my direction? Uber trying to set me up. You see this wheel, sir? He's stopping at stop sign. Well, except for this guy. You know, he ain't getting paid by the minute, so he chilling. Make the turn, my boy. Leaving me in an awkward spot. 
Now I'm nice guys. Side door. We just delivered to Joe Biden. Hey, I see this school right here. Huddy. Wait, that was the school I was supposed to go to because I'm zoned to this school because I live right across the street. But the reason I didn't go there, I didn't want to go there, is because my junior high school was like in the same neighborhood. It's like I didn't want to go to junior high school here and then also <laughs> wow <laughs> and then also have to go to no i mean go to what's the first one called elementary yeah i didn't want to go to elementary and then go right across the street to um to junior high so i went to show bank instead <laughs> so we just got the next order from um, Blue Mountain. So when I'm in Brooklyn, there's a very specific path I take uh, when I don't have an order. All right, yeah, I travel from area to area with with restaurants on um, on both sides to increase my chance of getting another order. Oh no, another detour. Oh no, trip time. Oh no, red light. Yo, this car in front of me. Bro ran, a, bro ran already and still didn't go anywhere. So I've been working since, let's just say 7.30. It's 8.09. I've already saw two cars running a red light. The first one was, um, you know those vans, those uh, mobile vans that usually carry like old people? Yo, bro straight up took the f out the red light, man. Cause, um, <laughs> So the light was red like right up here right it was just like solid red and then i think it was actually this street too bro it was this street <laughs> so i was over there waiting and he was over there so as soon as the car stopped him over there bro just skipped the whole red light came through dropped his customer off and then just continued going i'm like what the f even the guy who got off the bus like he's like when he got off he looked at him like mad concerned like bro there's no way you just ran a red light to come drop me off that shit was funny and when i say a car running red light i don't mean like oh they're running through when it's yellow because you know yellow means speed up <coughs> here in uh here in brooklyn yeah i hear my horn it's just powerful yeah yellow means go in brooklyn dog it means go faster I believe it's this building. Oh my guy, I'm I'm lane splitting, bro. <laughs> Morning. I have a food delivery of uh, machines. Not this place. It's not. The next entry. There's not. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Huh? There's two of them. Oh. Okay. I have a food delivery of uh, machines. Oh no. Thank you. Plot twist. It did need a pin. You made me come out of work, man. That's a surround? Yeah. Wow, yeah. <laughs> this nigga made me walk out of work. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, bro. How much you pay for that shit? This one was on 45. Not bad. Not bad. You, you like the other one? What, what you got? The, the wet beach? Oh, nah. You don't fuck with it? This the only one I ever had. This the X. Oh, where? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That shit look fire. Yo, let me sit on it. Hey, I'm yo. If I'm <laughs> By the fact, I don't even need to because I'm like, you're yeah. taller than me, right? Yeah, you're yeah. taller than me. Let me see you sit on it. Let me see how you look with that shit. <laughs> Not bad. I think I can pass for it. Yeah, but you need to get um a seat extender. Yeah. You got yeah. one on there? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me get back in top pocket and try it. <laughs> Alright, bro. Enjoy, all right? All right, you too, man. Yo, when he said, let me sit on it, I was about to say, hey, yo. It took everything in me not to say, hey, yo. Fuck you mean you want to sit on it? <laughs> I got another order to go pick up. Cafe Madeline. Is that a go-kart? I, I got Stanley. 
Yeah, uh, Stanley. Yeah. Stanley, you thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> huh? Okay. 50. Take care, man. Thank you, you too. All right, let's take a time to plug myself. All the available equipment I use for deliveries are in the description below. Where the apartment number is, they put the building number again. <sighs> I swear, bro. What is the apartment number? Oh, they just cleaned the elevator and it stinks. Oh my God, what the f did you clean it with vomit? God damn, bro. Oh my God. But y'all think I should tell? I'm not even gonna put my bag on the floor. Y'all think I should tell the customer? That he didn't put an apartment number where his apartment number should be. He put the building number. Or you think he's going to be one of those unreasonable customers? I think I might tell him. Yeah, I think I'm going to tell him. I'll be like, yo, dumbass. <laughs> oh, bro, don't tell me there's two sides to this building. Oh, you're fucking joking. Oh, you're fucking joking, bro. <sighs> bro, there's two sides to this damn building. Oh my God. Worst delivery ever. And I have to go back in this stinking elevator. <sighs> All right, on the bright side, at least this elevator don't stink. <laughs> he just texted me. He's like, are you here? Bro, I don't even want to talk to you right now. Sorry about it. I took the wrong elevator. All right, cool. Thanks. Yo. Bro was in his boxers. Bro was gaming. It's interesting because today it's not as busy. I'm not seeing a lot of orders. But yesterday, I'm telling you guys, it was back to back to back. And y'all want to know something crazy? I did 15 Uber Eats deliveries yesterday. Guess how much base pay I got? Oh, yeah, because in New York, we only get base pay now. But y'all know that. Y'all know that by now. Guess how much I got, bro? like $88 and like 15 orders pathetic <laughs> but after um guaranteed I think it was like it was 122 was the minimum that I was gonna make and I only worked I think four hours the three and a half or four hours so that's not bad if y'all can see it from here I'm gonna try to zoom in but there's a Chucky doll on his back seat <laughs> it's like it's so perfect too because like you could barely see it it's just like creeping through the little tents but anyway we got a mcdonald's one i completely forgot and it's like of course they would send me this order after i left this area they basically sent me order and said nah bro you got a u-turn i remember when covid first hit this used to be the mcdonald's bro i got sent here so much Bro, it feels like there's nothing in this bag. What the hell did I pick up? She only got a biscuit and a hash brown. No wonder this shit's so damn light. But I picked up a Dunkin' order while I was in there too. And y'all saw how the um those other delivery drivers are trying to were uh, skipping me. I'll just let them. I'll just let them go ahead. I'm like, go ahead, my boy. Go ahead. No need to rush anymore. That shit used to piss me off, bro, when he used to just like fucking just cut in front of you like that. Now, I don't even mind. Matter of fact, I want you to skip me now. Go ahead. As long as I could have accepted an order, I'm getting paid. So go ahead with your impatience so I'm chilling. All right, actually, since this McDonald's have no drink, I'm gonna put this over here. So this one. Right there. The first one I'm delivering is the McDonald's. It's a white and black house. Leave on the porch. Say less. <laughs> Yo, bro is wildin', bro. <laughs> that nigga is going crazy. And he got nowhere. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this 
dude. Nah, you gotta watch out for them. Good thing I gotta turn because I'm not driving next to this dude. Yeah, good thing I had to turn, bro, because I do not want to ride next to him. When you see someone driving like that, always let them go. Never try to, um, never try to, like, go in front of them, drive next to them. Just let them go. When I was on the Arrow, I saw so many drivers like that, and I, I would just, like, pull over to the side, let, like, two cars pass me and continue again. Because it's like, if he crash, most likely you're going to get caught up in it. So it's a black and white house. looking for Oreo. I see Oreo. I see the Oreo. It's the only black and white one. Bro, this order is literally right here. <laughs> you have arrived. I'm pretty sure I delivered to this lady before. Hold on, let me see. I delivered to her last time I worked. Hello. Good morning. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. So I delivered to her last time I recorded. <laughs> and she tipped me last time, guys. I think she gave me like a three. Three dollars tip last time. And I don't do anything special on deliveries. I literally just say, good morning, have a good day, etc. That's all I do. Not out here doing nothing special. So I got a Dunkin' order. And then I got a... I didn't get the screenshot because I was showing them my phone, but it's from M. What is it? Lucky's Jamaican. But it was another five. All right, we got both orders. About to get them dropped off. All right, I'm back out here. So earlier my GoPro died. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the last thing y'all heard from me was. I think the last thing I was recording was that I had a double. <laughs> I know it died somewhere around the second pickup. And then after that double, I did one more order. I turned it on. I'm like, let's see if I could get something going to my house. And the very first order was going to my house. Like, what are the odds of that? Wait, we back outside. It's 12, 10. I'm on the clock. I got a schedule now. Tragic. Yo, the wind is winding, my boy. Holy. So I got my first order, the canteen. Bro, I should have left my house like five minutes later because this pickup is literally on my block. So if I had just left my house a tiny bit later, I'd have been in a good position to pick up this order. I got a second order, <laughs> $2 from the same store. Not ready, it's gonna be a few minutes or so. Okay, guys, <laughs> one of these orders has 25 items, bro. <laughs> 25 items is crazy hold on they're all actual items too it's not even like sauces or anything all right so i just went back inside they said um it's gonna be 15 minutes so like i said the pickup is on the same block as my building so i'm gonna go pick up a like a grubhub tote or something i'm pretty sure i have one still all right we towed it up Turns out I did have an extra one. The only issue is on the Suron, anything you put on the handlebar, it leans it all the way over. Whereas on my arrow, it was just like chilling there. So like, I actually have to actively. I have to actively keep balance on the shit. Or else I'm just gonna topple over. First customer. Five minutes away though, so I'm chilling. So I figured you want to see me how I carry this shit. So it's gonna record a little bit. My GoPro wasn't fully charged up, so I've got to be limited on my recordings. But yeah, I got my shit in the handlebar down here, boy. All right, just turning. 
I'm telling you, no one used turn signals. Me included. <laughs> Surprisingly, this is not too bad. I remember last time I put something on the handlebar, that shit was... I was fighting my handlebar. At drop-off location. Where are we going? Second floor. I did have one little uh, slight issue. So I was trying to make a, a right turn. I had to fight my bike, Brody. Oh, got it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Right on this, uh, over there. Okay. You want to drink anything? I'll take a water, please. Water? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a GoPro. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Mission success. And I got the order. Let's go. All right. So I just got the second order dropped off. Let's see what else is out here. Okay, so it seems like I may have been wrong. So it, I was on schedule yesterday. Nothing but orders. On schedule today, nothing but dead. It was busy in the morning, but right now, it's kind of tragic. Bro. I'm just driving around, watching some videos. But yeah, I haven't got anything since I dropped off the last order. I got bored. Of, I got bored of riding around, so now I'm camping. <laughs> There's a Popeyes, McDonald's, Wendy's over here. I get bored very quickly. That's one of my many issues with uh, deliveries, bro. I get bored as soon as I'm as soon as I'm bored, I'm ready to go home. But I'm stuck. I'm gonna talk it out. I'm gonna talk it out. How much we at in raw earnings? Fifty-eight. Yikes. All right, folks. That's where I'm gonna wrap it up. <laughs> Pause. This is where I'm gonna leave. I did a few more orders. I did. I don't know, I think it was only two. It was a double shop and pay and some other order. But yeah, I think I'm gonna leave right now. Start heading home. It's slow out here, boy. See y'all next time. Peace.